<laughs> Ray, Ray Wine with the 20. Uh, as a 20-year-old, is it okay for me to have fun with the blue-haired girls while I'm young? No. As long as I'm smart about it and do it safely, yeah. or is any relationship besides a serious long-term one nah. a waste? It's bad, man. You get that apple box for me? Yes. Wait, is they're not born with blue hair? Chris, can you come do a cameo? Yeah. Oh, you want this? <coughs> you turn it up the hallway? Yeah. <coughs> Should I probably sit on stream? No. Nah, he can't do that. Against TOS. Yeah, any gore. That's against my personal TOS. Yeah, that would be pretty gory. You have a zip? Yeah. <coughs> you can pop it off. Stop, just don't touch it. Don't look at it. I don't want to see it. Okay. Um, <laughs> <coughs> That's your cameo? Yeah. No, Chris. Later, Chris. Later. See you tomorrow, buddy. No, I'm not leaving. <laughs> um, the girls. Uh, there was someone tweeted, someone tweeted something that was like, um, <clears throat> should I just go out and bang a bunch of women to get it out of my system? <coughs> and, the, the, and the person tweeting said, uh, that's not what happens. What happens is you get it in your system. Yeah. Um, Do all the heroin now. Once you start getting, like, searching for, like, sexual fun and uh, treating, tr like, a relationship, when you put your, when a man puts it, his it, inside a woman's thing um <clears throat> you are creating like a a psychic bond with that person there's no such thing as like consequence free empty sex it's not it's not a real thing <clears throat> so just make sure it doesn't mean you can't go you know fuck, uh, or do whatever but just re realize that um there's no there is no such thing as consequence free sex if you go out and do one of these girls you are creating like a, like, like it's it's not gonna you're not gonna shake it like you're gonna look back ten years later and be like ugh, okay uh ugh, you're not gonna be able to shake it off and like forget about it um, and it doesn't like uh the thing <clears throat> like if you're trying to f if you're trying to fuck a lot of girls it probably means that you are it probably means that you have some issue like some psychological uh, issue like I think trying to prove something, I think it's trying to prove something to your dad, like trying to prove your masculinity or your manliness or whatever. Yeah. And that going out and banging a bunch of chicks is not what makes you masculine. That does not, it's like a, it, it correlates, like it has, there, a lot of, ma like ma a masculine, like alpha male can get more women than like a, you know, uh, <clears throat> fucked up pathetic incel. But there's a correlation there, but it doesn't mean that the, the banging is the causation. It's not, it's like a, a symptom and um it uh it's just not it's not a good thing it's not something you should pursue you're probably not going to find the the one when you're 20 years old unless you're like a christian like you find somebody that's you know the girl in high, my high school sweetheart if that's the case go go hog wild but um if you're you know like any of us some lost guy with no no connections no solidity or foundation or whatever and you're just like all the girls you can find are these like literally pieces of shit like pieces of shit wearing a human costume uh <clears throat> then you know do whatever in your 20s but be open to like real connection what you want is you want a woman that's going to be a because life gets life gets very difficult like for, it's pretty hard um like when you're when you're 18 you got you got this all these security systems around you like even if you don't even if you don't have parents that love you you still have like High school, college, very low expectations. What? Sorry, it's from the video. Okay. You have, you, you're, you're surrounded by low expectations and like safety. And when you get to be like 30 and 40 years old, that's not the case. And you start, you know, you'll probably start, you'll, you'll, at some point you'll start getting health problems. Life will throw you a curveball. You'll have some kind of issue that you need help with. And what you want is you want a, a partner to support you <clears throat> and like complement your skill set. Like if you do, if you can't do, administrative you can only do some other type of work you want someone that can do administrative work who can handle paperwork who can deal with hospital bills etc car insurance that type of thing like you want someone who complements your skill set and is not a whore and uh is like a trustworthy person because uh <clears throat> fucking, 
fucking because it, you lose interest in it. It stops. It stops being like the most amazing thing in the world. Um, uh, and it, it it gets trumped by conv having someone who will make life less hellish uh, by their presence. You know, someone that makes you someone that makes you happy. That's what you that's what you want. And um, I've never I've never once met like a <clears throat> I've never met anybody who had this experience where like a really hot girl also like cooked for them and made them like made their life less miserable. Yeah. I've never I've never seen that. Uh, the one that pops into memory was uh, this kid on Instagram that I was talking to. Um, he had a girl. His girl was like incredibly hot. She was like a human Barbie doll type yeah. thing, and he was just like telling me like how, like how much of a miserable like, like horror and like how fucking like, like their apartment was like covered in cat shit and dog shit and like pill bottles and stuff and like it was just like, like he he'd be better off living in Afghanistan. Yeah. Than than dating this like uh, fucking like mental patient person. A lot of a lot of these people belong in a mental institution too. A lot of these people like <clears throat> like right now you know if you saw something with like sexy tits and like big orangutan lips and like a, a swollen pussy hanging out and they, but they but I what if I what if I came up to you and I was wearing a doctor's lab coat and a stethoscope and I said this person belongs in a mental institution. <laughs> They be, they belong locked up in a in a um, a padded cell would be the safest place for this person in a in a straitjacket. Are you sure you want to um, create a le a legal legally binding problem for yourself by uh, sticking your cock in her and sending her a bunch of texts that are going to be seen in court or by the police? Yeah. Because you you raped her. <laughs> like, come on, man. Just imagine if, and just, yeah, just take five seconds and picture if this person wasn't hot, what would I think of them? Oh, I think it's a fucking homeless person asking me for five dollars for crack. Like basically the same thing. Like, the, you know the homeless lady that, that hits us up for money? That in the parking lot? Yeah. What if she was, what if she was smoking fucking hot with huge tits? I'd move in with her. Me too. Laker, three minutes! <laughs>